Okay, so before we begin, a couple changes. So I got a ring light, so I'm going to be filming with that from now on. I think I might get a softener because I feel like this is washing me out just a little bit. Um, also, I got a haircut, literally got it done a couple hours ago, and I'm so excited about it that I decided to film. Third, yes, I'm sunburnt. It was 75 degrees today in North Carolina, so I went to the beach, and now I'm fried. My back is extremely burnt, Yeah, so I won't be showing you guys that. But let's just go on to the video. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Kelly and welcome to K-Lake Creates. So today I am doing a bit of a crazy look, and usually when those crazy looks happen, it's a fish series. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about parrotfish. So parrotfish are a really, really beautiful type of fish. Um, they're all in the same family. They're in the family Scarinidae, Scar, Scaridae. I'm so awful with the Latin terms. Um, but they're all in the same family. They're just kind of like a sub group of species. Um, and they're all very similar and they're all really, really cool fish. And they're known for these teeth that they have and they are shaped kind of like beaks, which is why they are called parrotfish. They're also, most of the time, obviously not always, because there is never an always when it comes to marine biology. <laughs> um, but most of the time they um, are very colorful and most of the time they have the same type of life cycle. And this, these colorful patterns really help because also most of those, those species, they live in coral reefs or in really shallow ecosystems. So they need those really bright colors to blend into the, they need to blend into the coral and they need to um, be able to be hidden wherever they are. They use those big um, kind of beaks because they like to eat algae. Most of them are herbivores, which means that they are kind of vegetarians, and uh, they like to scrape algae off of what they're eating. Um, there are some parrotfish that eat corals. Um, this, there's not a whole lot of them. It's just a couple of species, and they just kind of scrape corals. They poop out sand. It's really funny. A lot of those areas have really beautiful white sand from those parrotfish. So if you guys are in those really beautiful white sand beaches, But um, uh, parrotfish have a really cool life cycle. So it obviously, again, it's not all parrotfish. And they most of the time they start out as females. So they are born females. And as they age, they become the large males. And they, as they become a different sex, they also change colors. So this specific uh, parrotfish that I did today, it's called a stoplight parrotfish. And um, they start out when they're females, they are a red and black and white. And then they turn into this beautiful um, teal and purple and pink and blue and yellow on the outside, which is why they're called the stoplight parrotfish. They are really, really beautiful. Parrotfish can be found all over the ocean, and they can be found um, in the um, tropical waters like Australia, in the Indo-Pacific, along India, um, along Africa, along the Bermuda area. They can be found so many different areas. This specific one can be found in the Caribbean. Um, I did it because um, Ryan's mom saw one in Jamaica, and she absolutely loved them. So I decided to do this specific parrotfish today. Um, this specific parrotfish, like I said, is named a stoplight parrotfish, and they can get to be about a foot and a half to two feet long. Um, two feet would be a really, really big one, a really, really big male, remember? Um, but they do start as that yellow, or the, those um, white and black with red markings. So they start out looking kind of like this, and then they end up looking kind of like this guy right here. I just realized I didn't put on any mascara. Um, so most parrotfish, they are not in danger. They are not in any 
type of um, situation that they might be, their numbers might be down, but in some areas there are less than there should be. Um, overall, they're doing okay. So in a lot of areas, they're starting to do parrotfish bans. Um, I do not know enough about this subject to speak about it, but I do know that it's going on in some areas of the Caribbean. Um, if you guys want, you can research it yourself. Um, or if you want me to talk about it a little bit more, I'm very open to research it for you. Um, but yeah, so our parrotfish are really, really cool animals. They are one of the most beautiful fish that I've ever seen. Um, and there are some species, and I think this is really cool, they um, secrete a mucus around their bodies and they sleep in a bubble of mucus to hide. Um, so all fish have different ways of sleeping. These ones, they secrete a bubble of mucus, push themselves into the side of the coral, and they float there, and it almost makes it too shiny for predators to see them. Some species also use this mucus to, um, for defense, so they will kind of spray the mucus out and um, it'll confuse the predator and they can swim away. Um, but these guys are really, really cool. So if you want to see how I got this look, just follow along. <laughs> so, I'm going to start out with my eyebrows. Um, using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So next I'm going to be priming my eyes with Inkalot Eye Primer and my normal angle preci precision angle brush from Royal and Langnickel. Okay, and then I, for the most part, um, think I'm going to be using my, you guessed it, James Charles palette. Um, I need a colorful palette and this is the only one that I have. I mean, I have my 35B. But I don't like using that in my videos since you guys can't go out and buy it. Um, I just don't like using that in my videos. I use it on my own time, but I do not want to use it in my videos. Okay, so I am going to set my primer using the shade Flashback. It is the white shade right here. Oh my god. And just pat that all over. So with this little tiny IBY crease brush, um, I'm gonna go in with uh, this shade right here. It's called Playground. And I am just going to be going straight in with the color instead of going in with a brown. So I'm going to be tapping this right above my crease. I have hooded eyes, as I've said in many videos, and I try to put the color above my crease so then when I open my eyes you can still see that cut crease a little bit and I'm just gonna go in by packing this color on I will go back in and blend it in a second and then I am going to go in with a flat brush if I can find a clean one um, then I'm gonna go in with my tart shape tape on this random flat brush I honestly don't know where it's from it's synthetic if that helps and I'm just gonna go in not with a ton of product just trace out where I want that crease to go I feel if I use too much concealer it takes seven years to dry and then I'm going to go in with yet another little tiny brush. I'm going to have to wash all my tiny brushes after this. Um, but I'm going to go in with this um, Ingold brush. This is by It Cosmetics. This is their liner side. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, actually, I'm going to start with the pink side. So I'm going to go in with this side right here. It's called Pinkity Drinkity. And I'm gonna be tapping that on my inner half of that crease. This one doesn't matter so much because I'm gonna be putting sparkles down. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this color at all on camera. 
because I can barely see it in person. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with another flat brush. This one's by Alamod. Um, it doesn't say what type it is, but I'm gonna also be going in with this. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Hello. And it's this kind of tealy shade right here. I don't have like the right shade, so I'm just kind of going with it. And I'm tapping it on the outer half. That shade's really crumbly. <laughs> I'm struggling a lot tonight, aren't I? Um, but I think instead of eyeliner, I think I'm going to try and do like a purple type of liner. Because I'm going to go in with an eyeliner brush. I'm going to wet it with, I just have water. And I'm going to go in with the shade Artistry, or with Single right here. It's a matte shade. And I'm going to use this as liner. Hoping that this shadow works. I might have to use a shimmer shade. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with yet another flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go in with this red, or red. Do I know my colors? I am college educated, I should know my colors. Um. I'm gonna go with this yellow shade B right here with a flat brush. And I, this is actually my first time using this color, so I hope it's good. I'm just gonna tap that in right on this outer little portion right here, just to be kind of like that yellow tail. Um, next, I'm going in with my um, NYX glitter primer. And I just squeeze some on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go in with some of this, with this little flat brush and just I'm gonna first of all dab it all over that shadow honestly it may be completely unnecessary to even put that shadow down but it's fine and then I have two glitter pigments so I have this one this one's in the shade GLI 03 or teal teal and what I always do, I actually haven't, oh, I have used this one, I guess. Who knew? I'm gonna tap that into the lid, put some on this little brush, and I am going to put this teal glitter on the, this third right here. Okay, so that is some teal, and then on that inner corner, I have pink. Um, next, I'm going to go in with another tiny little flat shader brush, which I have no idea where it's from. It happens to have a teal glitter on it, so that shows the last time that I used it, even though I washed it. <laughs> so then, um, I'm going to be going in with that glitter shade, a little tiny flat shader brush, and tap that on the inner corner. And I'm trying not to let these colors mix because I want it to look more like those scales where they're just distinct colors. All right, so then I am going to be doing the other eye and my face makeup off camera. Um, and then I will be right back. Okay, so to finish off under my eyes, I'm gonna do it kind of like a couple stripes like these parrotfish have on their face. So I'm going to go in with um, my Pure BoxyCharm palette. Um, basically I'm just looking for a salmon-y color like this one right here. And I'm just going in with a little crease brush and I'm going to just pack this right underneath my lash line. Oh, maybe not so much pack it, but make sure it's not getting everywhere, you know. And then I'm going to go in with that same shade that I have on my upper crease, um, that blue shade called um, Playground. I don't even know if I told you guys the shade of that one. It's called Playground. And I'm just going to tap that also under that salmon color. Nice 
see it's kind of shaped like a fish. And then to highlight, I'm out of flat brushes. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to go in with a little eyeliner brush and I'm going into the shade Sisters, which is kind of like a pinky highlight shade. I'm just gonna highlight right above my brow bone. Above my brow bone. Above the eyeshadow on my brow bone. And I'm also gonna put it on my inner corner. And then I actually am going to put a little bit of blush on because I feel like I need to give myself some color. And I'm going to use the Laura Geller um, Baked Blush and Brighten um, one just with a um, Luxie Blush Brush. Just to give myself a little tiny bit of color. And then I'm going to use my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade uh, Eclipse, this one up here. And I'm just going to press this in on the highest parts of my cheeks. Actually, I don't like this brush. It's not doing what I wanted. And then for lips, it's gonna be a little bit more crazy, a little bit more out there. Um, I'm gonna go with the NYX Lip Suede and this is in the shade Little Denim Dress. And I actually got this months ago when I decided to do a parrot fish. Like also with that um, teal glitter, I got that as well for this. It's just cause I thought it was gonna be so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it a little spritz to just melt everything together. My hair is so short, where'd it go? So, before I end this video, I realized I did the whole intro with no mascara on. I know, what type of YouTuber are you without any mascara? I don't know, I don't know. So, I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro um, Lash Pomade. I'm going to coat these lashes. So, this is the final look. But I am going to skip to an already recorded area. <laughs> I am so excited with the way that this looks. I think that I did the fish justice. Um, I hope that you guys think so too. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, uh, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. If you guys have any suggestions at all, leave a comment down below. If you guys like parrotfish, leave a comment down below. Basically just leave me a lot of comments. I love comments, they're my favorite thing. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you again next time. Bye.